A frightening end to a night of work here in the district. In a story you will only see here on News 4 and our sister station, Telemundo 44, a couple shared their story about being attacked on a D.C. circulator bus, and they're concerned it could happen again. Transportation reporter Adam Tuss has the details and a warning. Some of the images in this story are hard to see. This is not the way 46-year-old Maria Vasquez wanted to end her night of work getting treatment at George Washington University Hospital after being violently attacked on board a D.C. circulator bus. Maria and her husband, Jose, both work in restaurants in downtown D.C. After a long Saturday, July night, they were on a circulator headed back home at 1 a.m. at 16th and K Northwest. That's when they noticed a man on board acting suspiciously. He started making comments about wanting to take Maria's backpack. I panic, I get afraid, and I try to get away. The situation quickly escalated. Well, according to the police report, all of this happened here at the back of the bus. As the victims were trying to get off the bus, that's when the suspect came up, took their bag, and then assaulted another one of the victims. Maria and her husband fought back for the backpack. She managed to get back on board the bus with it, and that's when she was punched multiple times. And gave me a single punch in the mouth and the other one in a part of my eye. That's how he took my bag. We've reached out to DDOT for comment, which runs the circulator service. It directed us to D.C. police, who tell us the case is still open and under investigation. Maria not only lost her backpack, but inside that backpack, her cell phone charger, work gear, and $130 in cash that she says she was going to use for medicine. Meanwhile, Maria's husband, Jose, is now calling for more protection late night on these buses. They need to have more security on the buses. They need to ensure that at that time of the night, they don't leave the streets open to any criminal. Both Maria and Jose say they'll continue to ride the circulator to get to and from work. In the district, Adam Tuss, News 4. Now, we asked D.C. police for security camera video of the incident, but so far they have declined to release the video.